This is Ventilation Maximum CT4. It also comes in a CT6 and a CT10. It's designed for bathrooms or kitchen fans where you need to move hot, moist air out of the system. What's great about this vent is it's made from galvanized steel, meaning it's critter-proof. It also sits high above the roof line, so when you get the snow in the winter, the vent continues to work. The air is exhausted sideways, so it never short circuits from a buildup of ice in front of the vent. This is a perfect vent application for any residential home using a bathroom fan, a kitchen exhaust, or a dryer. To begin the installation, you start by removing the shingles and preparing the hole with a waterproofing membrane. Sometimes when you're retrofitting the CT4, CT6, or CT10, there's not enough duct work. So what you have to do is using spray foam or rock saw insulation, stuff some insulation right up into the cavity to ensure that you don't get that thermal break causing condensation. When installing a CT4, a CT6, or a CT10, the most important part, and I cannot stress this enough, is to create an air seal with the pipe. This is the pipe coming from the home. It has to be sealed to this collar. This ensures that you don't have condensation. This ensures that the system is complete and there's no air loss. Failing to do so will result in a condensation problem which will eventually rot your wood deck. So the next step is the second most important part in installing the CT4, the CT6, and the CT10. And that's taking your insulated duct, putting it in the bottom, and pushing it right through to the top of the vent. Once you're happy with its location, tape it and create an air seal all the way around as redundancy to make sure any air loss does get trapped within the system. With the air seal in place, you're now ready to apply a generous amount of rubberized cement around the opening of the roof. If you really want to be sure that this vent is watertight, you can apply a mastic with a trowel around the top side of the flange. Now secure it to the deck by using screws or nails. Apply a generous amount of rubberized cement halfway up the vent, across the back, and down halfway on the other side. With your shingles installed and your vent in place, you can now apply a continuous bead of rubberized cement around your flange. 